Hello everybody, this is Irene Edwin, crochet tutor and fiber artist speaking to you all from Ganga Crowwood's channel. Who wouldn't love a crochet accessory? It would look lovely to pair it up with any modern outfit and even when you are at home, isn't it? And I have a very very interesting India's first hand painted yarn today to show you all in this video. Before knowing what it is, if you are watching this video for the first time, please do consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified with our every new videos. Also, when you are making amazing stuffs with these yarns and patterns, please do post it on social media with the hashtag #whiteyganga, and we would love to see your creations. I told you all I have a very interesting yarn today, isn't it? I'll show you all what it is. These are hot beads abstract yarns. These are India's first hand painted yarns. Very very interesting, isn't it? And these yarns are 100% merino super fine yarns. Each hand is 100 grams and they have a yardage of 216 meters. They fall into size 3 lightweight category yarns. Crochet it or knit it and you're going to be a stunner with these yarns. You can do amazing garments, beanies, headbands, hand warmers, socks and what not. Everything will absolutely suit this luxurious and very drapey abstract yarns. And to mention, these are Oikotex Class 1 certified yarns which means they are safe for babies and safe for skin as well. I have a very easy peasy fancy project to pair it up with this heartbeat abstract yarn. I'll show you what it is. Look at this lovely twisted headband. It hardly took me some 20 to 30 minutes to finish this fancy crochet accessory. You can pair it up with any modern outfit. Also when you are at home doing some makeup stuff. It is going to be a very very beginner friendly product which you have to just use a basic stitch something like a half double crochet or double crochet and you are done. Come on, without any further delay, let's quickly get into making this beautiful twisted headband with heartbeat abstract yarns. Let's start making the easy peasy fancy twisted headband. So the materials required is we need a crochet hook and I have taken a 4mm crochet hook, a tapestry needle, scissors, measuring tape to measure the head circumference and definitely yes to our abstract yarns from Heartbeat. And the shade that I have chosen is ABS006 which has this beautiful brown shade and I have wound it into a ball so that it will be convenient for me to crochet. So let's start making it guys. Before you can start off with the headband, you have to measure the head circumference and reduce 1 inch to the measured size. So today I am going to do for a uh, toddler to kid size. So I am going to make 60 foundation chain according to the measurement that I have taken from my kid. Okay. So you can make it according to your size. I am making foundation chains. 60 foundation chains and I will show you what to do at the end of 60th foundation chain. The head circumference of the toddler was 12 inch. So I have made foundation chains only for 11 inch. Okay, you can see I have made only for 11 inch. So for 11 inch, it measured up to 60 foundation chains for me. It may vary for each hand tension. So you have to measure for the particular head circumference and make number of foundation chains accordingly. So after the foundation chains are complete, now we are going to move on to row 1. And for row 1, we are just going to make double crochet stitches. Again, the stitch depends on each one's preference. Since I want flexibility, I have chosen double crochet. You can also do with half double crochet stitches. So for double crochet, I am going to skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. And I am going to insert my hook into the 4th chain. So yarn over, insert into the 4th chain. Pull the working yarn out of the foundation chain. So now we will have 3 loops on the hook. Rotate, grab, pull first 2 loops. Rotate, grab, pull last 2 loops. So this is my first double crochet. I will continue making double crochet stitches until the end of this row. 
so I made 60 foundation chains so when I end row 1 I will have 57 double crochet stitches continue making this and I will meet you by the end of row 1 I have reached the end of row 1 and this is how it looks look how drapey it is it was an absolute delight to work with these abstract yarns so after completing row 1 we are going to proceed with row 2 for row 2 we are going to make 3 turning chains because generally for double crochet stitches they are 3 turning chains so turn your work skip the 3 turning chains and you will start working from the 57th double crochet stitch but you will work only on the back loops so this will give a embossed effect for each row and this will look even more pleasing than the normal double crochet stitches so let's skip the 3 chains and on the 57th double crochet let's work only on the BLO which is back loops only so I'm pulling the working yarn out I have 3 loops on my hoop rotate grab pull first 2 loops rotate grab pull last 2 loops again yarn over into the back loop of the next double crochet stitch so insert pull the working yarn out you have 3 loops rotate grab pull first 2 loops rotate grab pull last two loops so for the entire row i'll be working only on the back loops so once you complete row two again you will chain three move on to row number three and again you will work double crochet stitches only on the back loops mm -hmm. so you will keep repeating this until you want your headband to a particular width or your desired width okay so i will meet you making these double crochet stitches for like up to 7 to 8 rows and I will show you how it looks I have completed 7 to 8 rows can you see the embossed effect of each row looks very cool right so I am going to finish it off because I feel this size is sufficient so while we are finishing off always make a chain 1 and then you can cut your yarn but now since we are going to do the twisted headband we are going to leave an ample number of yarn space, tail yarn, and then we are going to cut. Okay, so I have left ample num uh, ample amount of yarn. Now I am good to cut my yarn. Now let's see how to weave this into a twisted headband. Let's take a tapestry needle. Let's ins let's insert the tail yarn into the tapestry needle. Okay. And let's see the position how we are going to weave in the headband okay so one side you're going to fold your headband like this and the other side you're going to fold it like this see simple as that yeah so we are just going to weave across and you will see a beautiful twisted headband very very easy very very simple and last minute gift idea so I'm just inserting into this layer inserting into the middle layer and I'm bringing it to the last layer so weave it across again from back let's do the same thing completely weave it You can again weave it from this side to this side if you want it to be double sure and if you want it to secure it much more tightly. So I'm going to do one more time. I have weaved it twice from this side to this side and this side to this side now I'm going to just weave in the tail yarn and closely trim it so just weave it anywhere randomly I have also another tail yarn I'm going to weave that as well now our twisted headband is ready 
let's see how it looks very very pretty and very cool right so this is such a last minute cool gift idea anyone will definitely love this headband do try it out and let me know how you enjoyed working on this that was pretty quick and fancy too is it do try it out my dear friends and please post it on social media with the hashtag #whiteyganga and we would love to see your creations i'll meet you on my next video with a new yarn and interesting pattern until then this is iron edwin signing off from ganga acro wool channel